one zero JD here with the X Wave Fan Show. I'm here to show you. I'm hoping I can say this name right. Shikondo, Shikondo Soul Eater. It is a very much a sh- uh, smup, uh, sh- uh, shoot 'em up. I'm about two levels in. I'm starting from here just so I can kind of show you a little bit later into the game. It's not especially hard, especially if you pick the easy mode. Uh, I personally love the art style and music of this game, and it's a very good uh, feeling shmup. Uh, there are two characters you can pick from, uh, the Grim Reaper, and I picked, uh, quote-unquote, the girl. So after every level, you're actually getting a uh, choice to pick up life, which you have four of, or essentially a bomb attack, and I'm just taking the bombs because whatever. Uh, there are five levels in this game, and I'm kind of just showing you from here, just so you can kind of see like how the craziness is a little in and on, even though this is easy mode. So I have my normal attack A. For her, it also is uh, slightly homing. If I hold B, it is a alternate attack on the uh, other girl, the uh, Reaper, Grim Reaper. Her, she's got more of a spread attack, and uh, holding B will concentrate that. Uh, top right, you'll actually see my like soul uh, souls collected, which is kind of a uh, let's say multiplier. Bottom left is the the butterflies, which are like essentially how many times I can be hit. You'll notice my character at the bottom has a green a little orb around her which uh, inside of her which is essentially your hitbox anywhere else uh does not matter if you get hit bottom right is actually my bombs essentially and then uh the soul collect is if you can see while well, i'm kind of staying near like shots i'm sucking in stuff that is uh building up towards a meter which is a left trigger which is essentially a super mode but kind of which lets me just just wail on things and uh, when you activate that, that actually turns all projectiles into souls, which you collect and then help your score later on. But like I said before, it is a fairly fun shmup. Uh, there's a boss rush mode, arcade mode with leaderboards, uh, a novice mode, a hardcore more mode, which is essentially one life and you're gone. Uh, then there's a co-op mode, local co-op. I don't think there's any online, but uh, it's actually pretty full featured for what it is. And I already got my soul collected back out, and I'm very much enjoying it. Uh, like I said, there's uh, five levels, multiple difficulties. Uh, for people like curious about the achievements, it's nothing too crazy. Your uh, beat arcade mode with normal, with each character beat arcade mode without continuing. Uh, beat boss r- rush, all that, just the normal kind of stuff like that, and nothing insane. Uh, all the bosses actually have two forms, their uh, main kind of form. And then uh, a second kind of uh, craziness form. Hey, spider lady. And they always do this kind of like intro kind of thing here. And then uh, craziness ensues. And each one boss actually has an interesting attack pattern kind of thing. As you can see here, the this boss lady's uh, ba- attacks are kind of just bouncing around. Let's go to Soul Collect. And now, since I have a bomb as well, I'm going to pop the bomb. And it's going to do, like, straight-up super, like, awesome mode. But uh, it is not difficult at all. Uh, if you get if you take a hit, uh, all the... It uh, kind of cancels out bullets. But you see, I'm like, as I'm staying kind of close to these attacks, it's gathering up goodies for me. Well, I touched it. And she'll be transforming in a few seconds. There it is. Gather up all these souls. Hey, spider lady. You don't look so happy now, are you? And of course, the uh, music just goes off the fucking rails. Also, talking and, uh, talking and playing a shmup at the same time, not easy. Uh, of all the shmups I've played on the Xbox so far, this might actually be my favorite. It's not too long, not too short. Uh, again, the difficulty there are, in arcade mode, there's like easy, normal, and hard, and then they have a novice mode kind of thing. So what I kind of want to do is wait until this gets really close, and then bam, all those souls are now mine, and that'll just contribute to my score later on. And I've been knocked out. But hey, I can continue, and I just want to kind of show you the game. I'm not going for any kind of high scores here. 
I might show you the other character in a few seconds. I really like the uh, staying near bullets mechanic where I have to kind of charge up stuff. And of course, just flashy, like, insanity that happens. Ugh, the music, like, my favorite parts of this is clearly, is most definitely the music and presentation of this. Can I not go up that far? And she's down. How far can I go? Oh yeah, I can go up full. And at the end of every level, like I, you kind of came in on, you can choose from uh, life on the bottom left or soul attack on the bottom right, which is, hey, bombs. Uh, let's go with soul attack. But again, I can't, I can't, like, I know I'm saying this so many times, but the presentation in this game is amazing. Like, look how pretty this is. Also, these creepy dolls are on every level. It's very upsetting. I mean, I'm already an advocate that most dolls are creepy anyways. Some of this music I wish I could just buy. Look at those little mice back there. But uh, if you ask if I would recommend this game, I wholeheartedly do. If you're into shmup, shmups or kind of into them or curious, uh, yes. So we'll go a little bit longer and then I'll show you the other character. Maybe just finish out this level but not show the boss because I don't want to spoil it. But as you can see, if you watch her attack, she's got uh, the kind of homing. If I hold B, the shots kind of fly out there. But my character does slow down. Some of the uh, larger bo uh, monsters, uh, if you you kill them, uh, they're all projectiles are cleared from the screen. Uh, they do introduce different uh, monsters as the game goes on, but uh, that's an, uh, these guys in like the circles. Those are onis, and I'm guessing a lot of these other are mythology creatures from uh, Japanese mythology. little bit I'll stop when we get to the boss look at that dude just ripping time and space open he's got no respect come on oh. and all the things kind of just get sucked back up so he feels like kind of like a mini boss and then back to normal I really like the soul collect I also like that they uh, have two different, like, fully different attacks. Levels don't feel too long, and they don't feel too short. I was never like, hey, I wish this was ending. But we'll kind of go and show the other character, and I'll show you off the menus. But, like, just look at this menu. How everything kind of moves and shifts around. Uh, as you can see, very complicated uh, menus. game stop but like local co-op hardcore like novice customized like you can make like how you want to be boss rush and arcade is what i was just playing so let's let's go to novice and just kind of see what this is like go to normal uh this is the other character this is who i was playing as here so let's go ahead with her and it is nice that they kind of give you like a little information about the attacks but as you can see you're going to quickly notice her attack is very different see how it's a split attack and then if i hold it and just keep going i have uh, i've beaten it on easy mode and arcade mode it did not take me too long but i like all these numbers flying everywhere and all this craziness Kinda. And we'll get to her, uh, her, uh, what's it called, uh, soul collect mode, which is, uh, she shoots out butterflies, which is pretty dope. I mean, if you can kill someone with a butterfly, I mean, why would you do anything else? She also got a, has a pipe. Q 
keep going a little bit. Maybe I shouldn't destroy these big guys just so I can have a... I really do like that the... How close am I? Oh, there it is. So, yeah, just straight up butterfly mode, and then if you shoot a bomb, just sucks in everything, and then just go ape shit on stuff. While in this mode, you do have a temporary shield. I believe it lasts one or two seconds right after, after activating the mode. But, uh, this is Shikondo, Soul Eater. I would highly recommend it. I'm enjoying it a lot. The art and just graphic style is amazing. Uh, if you're not really into this kind of game, this actually would be maybe something, uh, an easier one to kind of get into and all that kind of fun stuff. But I am ZeroJD. This is the X-Bay Fans Channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. See ya.